Hey guys, so before we move on to upgrading our items, I decided to make one crucial change to our stats. And the reason behind it is that later on, if you want to generate randomized stats, we can't generate all of them because if we rolled, for example, weapon without damage or attack speed, it would be completely useless and our combat system later on would not work. So we're going to create base stats, which will hold the stats that the item needs to have. So for example, on the weapon, we will always have damage and attack speed. And later on, we can add like critical chance. And on our armor pieces, we will always have armor. And then we can just generate randomized stats based on our item rarity, which will be much better system in the long term. And first thing we need to do to make that happen is in our blueprints, let's open item info S. We do have a stats here, so we're just going to create the same variable like we have. So we're going to add a new one, and this will be base stats. It will be type stats enumerator. Then we'll change it to map. And second one will be stats type S, which is our min or current and max stat. Save it. Here on the side, you can just hold and drag it just above our stats, so it's all together. And now we can go to our widget in our tooltip widget. Let's display it correctly, so open it up. And in here, what we can do is we do have this create stats function. So what we can do is actually just grab the whole thing, control and C, copy it here, paste it. And then here on the first one, remove this set row to one, to zero, set row to zero. And from the completed, we will connect it here. So once the first one completes, we will do the second one. And in first one, we're going to instead change this to base stats. And that is actually all we need to do. Compile and save. So this will generate base stats, it will keep the row, and then after we'll generate regular stats as before. And then set it to row zero. Yeah, it's all good. One thing we can change on the stats widget, we're going to create a new variable. So let's open the stats widget, go to graph, Let's create a new variable and this will be is base stat type boolean. Compile and save. Uh, let's make it instance editable and expose on spawn. Then compile and save. And back in tooltip, we can just refresh these two nodes. Refresh these ones just in case as well, even though if you restart the engine later, it should do it. And here we will just check in on the first two, we will check in is base stat. Okay. Compile and save. And now on our tooltip, on our stats widget. So here when we're displaying stats, so we got set stat text. What we can do is uh, is mark text open this function let's drag this back we'll do a branch check before and we will add here the input which will be is mm, based base stat we'll connect it here then if it's not, we will connect it to this branch. But if it is base stat, then we can just copy this one here on top, the append, connect it there. And we don't need to do the max stack or plus and minus or anything because we don't need to change that. We won't be having base stat in the minus, in the negative values. And I don't want to say max even though, because it's base stat, so we know what it is. And 
we'll just connect the start to this one, first one here, value to the second one. Uh, we can change the color of it. So if you remember in a designer on this start, we got the text, which is rich text. We open the data table, double click on it. Then we'll add new row. And this we can call, I don't know what color you want to have it. You can call it gray or blue, or you can call it base stat. I'll, I'll just call it uh, gray. Or oh, blue. I'm going to do blue. I don't think gray you're going to see much. So click on the red on next to the phone, right click, copy it, go to blue, paste it. We can maybe make font a little bit bigger. So we'll make it 14. So we know it's a base stat and we'll change the color to I don't know, something bright blue. So we can see it well. Save it. And now back in the stats in the graph, let's change this first one. So we can remove this pin, right click, remove pin. We don't need max. We're going to have a stat, column, space. This one will be blue. We don't need the plus sign. Then it will be the value, which we don't convert it to integer. So we leave it like that. And then we close the blue text, connect it back to return node. And now let's compile and save. That should actually work. So let's pick up some, ah, we don't have any base stats on items, my bad. Go to your data table, blueprints, items DT. And on, let's say, plate armor, because it got more stats, we can just do base stats. We'll create one and we will add armor. Don't forget, we need to add it to max stack. Every value, every stat that is just one stat, like armor and I don't know, attack speed. So max stack 30 or 50, that will be the base stat. And then let's add it to one weapon as well. So my iron axe maybe. And this will have always damage first. And then it will have attack speed. Damage will be 10. Attack speed will be 1.1. Uh, you can go ahead and set up all your weapons with the stats as well. I won't be doing that on the video because it's just take too long. So I'll just be doing the few ones that we uh, going to be using so we can see it. Now, since you change something in a data table and you already got these items created, it won't reload until you restart the engine or you can just reload them here by changing the row name to something else and putting them back to play the armor and our iron axe as well change it to club and iron axe now let's test it out pick this up so now we have i do have additional armor but it's not in blue color and i do have additional stats but i think i haven't connected it to the function so let's go to stats in the graph yeah, so just connect this variable in ba is base stat, which will already be set when we create this stat. Compile and save. And now we got base stat, which is. Maybe we should create. So the armor, actual armor word will be the same size as the value because it looks a little bit strange. So we can just create a new row in the rich text and then wrap the whole text in it 
because we can't change the normal value it will change it for all the stats we can just do you know normal and this will be normal and rapid again but i'm not going to do that i'm just change it back to uh same size so i'll change it to 12 on the blue and maybe i'll add the shadow so shadow offset here needs to be one and one and shadow color is already black yeah that's better so now we got the base stat and we'll see how we style it as well because i would like to have icon for each stat and then just add icons you know like we got in most of the games as well but this will do for now just so we can see it better while we're programming it cool so we do have stats created here but it also doesn't add to our player stats yet so what we need to do is we do have the stats component uh, just right click to what is edit edit stats component and here we got the change stats what we need to do same thing here is copy this function this second part paste it here and then we'll do from completed we'll connect it here connect the base stats here it doesn't matter which ones are first because it will just be adding stats and that's all compile and save one more check is all right so we got 50 armor and 100 armor in the stats so 150 it adds 150 so that works fine and then where else we do have a stats in our crafting yeah so in our crafting widget we also need to generate it so let's open our crafting widget in the graph in the event graph we do have set crafting item show crafting recipes set stats or something build stats and here let's drag all this back down oh. so we got more space and then again same thing we need to do here is just we can copy the whole function Hold shift if you need to add to these nodes, not these ones. Control and C, copy it and paste it here. And then again from completed, connect it to start of this function. So it will, after it generates. Oh, hold on. This is the material stat, so we need to also create variable on the material stat. Compile this. Values need to be connected from base stat then why well, you don't like connect child target oh, i didn't get the stat box copy it paste it here and then on this material stat we also need to create variable if it's base stat so material stats variable is base stat expose on spawn instance editable compile and save back to crafting and let's refresh these first ones oh, just in case refresh these ones as well and now check is base stat is base stat on the first two compile and save and now on our material stats we also got the set stats it's not the same function that we had so we need to also add it here i don't know i'll probably change it in fixes we can just get it from player and we don't have to have it here and then we don't have to update it two times but for now just copy it paste it here connect the stat connect the value 
we don't need max stat so remove pin this will be blue no plus sign uh, value and that's it and connect the ah, do a input again be base is base that branch checks will be in click connect is base that false goes to other branch true goes to up here and then connect it back to return node and let's not forget to connect it this time so back in event graph connect is base that compile and save And now on these ones we do have base stats on these ones. All of them are base stats now. Hmm. No, it's all the way around. When I'm creating them, I screwed up. So back in crafting widget. What have I done? Ah, okay. So base stats go up here and stats go down here there we go compile and save and now we have a base stats everywhere we want to so here finally it's working so now it will be very easy to do randomized stats because we'll keep the base stat and we'll just randomize this and we can base it on like on the rarity so if this is blue item, it will have two stats, green will have one, epic three, and legendary will have four. So, very organized system. Alright, I'll see you in the next video. Bye!